Consumer reports suggest that 32-inch TVs are the most popular and most purchased. Although with the rise of 4K TVs, we're starting to see a bump in screen size like 42 and 48 becoming most popular. But what about gaming, watching movies, browsing the internet at 100 inches? What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're going to be checking out the LG Mini Beam, a 1080p 100 inch projector that is a lot more affordable than you might come to expect. And it's got a built in battery so you can bring this anywhere and watch movies, game, anything like that while you're on the go. Now, as you know on the channel, I reviewed, you know, monitors, recently showed off a 65-inch 4K NanoCell TV. So why not show off the in-between ground here with the projector? So this model of the Mini Beam is the PF50KA. And like I said, it can project up to 100 inches at full 1080p. A lot of projectors out there only go up to like 720, so it's definitely nice to see that bump in resolution. Taking a look at it, it is pretty compact. I'd compare it to like the size of an iPad, but obviously more squared in size. On top of the projector is a little focus knob so you can dial it in to get a really sharp image. Below that you have your power button and four directional buttons so you can navigate the menus and stuff like that. Then on the back side will be all your inputs obviously. You have a LAN port here if you want to plug this in and use it wired for internet. A HDMI, USB port, your on off switch so you can have this turned off even if you press the power button on top. A second HDMI, a cable in button so if you want to watch you know, cable on this. A headphone jack, a USB type C port and obviously your wall adapter for powering it. But one really cool thing about this is it actually has a built-in battery. So while you're probably gonna have this plugged in at home, you know, for like a home theater use, it does have a built-in battery that keeps it charged for up to two and a half hours. So say if you're going camping or something, or you just wanna bring this out with you, I can make, you know, like little family outing is really cool. But talking about the image quality, like I said, I'm really happy we're getting that 1080p bump. Now, since it can go up to 100 inches, obviously you're not gonna be sitting that close to it. So when you are sitting farther back, the image is still gonna look really sharp. If you have this around four feet away from the wall, you'd expect a screen around 40 inches. So the farther you move it back, the bigger screen you're gonna get. And it definitely gets bright and happy to report that with a projection up to 600 lumens. So even if there is some light in the room or it's dimly lit, you're gonna have no problems doing this. Some other cool things is you have the auto keystone correction. So you have this like kind of tilted or you're adjusting it. The image itself will correct so you're viewing it at like a normal screen ratio. On the bottom, there is a quarter inch thread so you can mount this on a tripod. Or even if you have like a ceiling adapter, you can mount it on there. But for me, I tested it out in a ton of different scenarios, whether it was watching movies. And since this has internet, you can go in and, you know, watch YouTube videos, your favorite website. It's pretty much the same interface as their LG Smart TV. So you have all these built-in apps, which is really cool. And there is a remote included, so you can navigate everything. But what I was trying was gaming. Now, as a home theater device, this isn't going to be, you know, meant for gaming, but you still can. And while I do have a 65-inch TV, getting an additional 35 inches of screen real estate was really, really something. Just having my entire wall filled up with my game was cool because I can sit back and really just take it all in. You know, when you're PC gaming, you're closer to your monitor, so it gets like more intense with this. I can just kick back and chill. You're obviously going to be better off with like leisure gaming, so nothing competitive like that, but it was just a cool experience. And since you have that connectivity over HDMI, anything is really fair game. Laptop, PC, Xbox One, PS4, even your Switch, you can all hook it up to the mini beam. And this also has built-in speakers with it, so you don't need to hook up a sound system or anything. The speakers inside are okay, you know, they're, they're right for what it is. It's obviously better than nothing, though. And I mentioned before that it's relatively affordable, because the price tag is $650, but again, you're getting 100 inches at 1080p. And I think that's pretty good, considering at CES, I was checking out some companies that had still 720p projectors, and they were coming in at around 500 bucks. So you get all that, the nice screen real estate, and plus the fact that it's portable, so you can bring it with you if you're going camping or something like that. Really cool stuff. So, you know, definitely a different style of video, not necessarily like a full in-depth review here, but just showing you guys out there that there are different options if you don't want to have, you know, uh, spending like a few thousand dollars on a massive 4K TV or anything like that. If you want to kick back and get a projector, have you know, clear out some space, have a nice clean wall, throw your game up on there, watch some TV, browse the internet, it's possible at a pretty damn good price, I'd say. So like I said, different style of video here, checking out different ways, different means for gaming and consuming, you know, entertainment, stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed this little video on the LG Mini Beam. If you did, I'll have a link for you in the description down below so you can check it out if you're interested. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.